Uh, and, and yet a similar question I, I'd like to ask you, Minister, how realistic you feel is the ambition set for Africa uh, uh, and its implementation? Can you hear me? No, I think, I think you might have to grab one next to you. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you. How realistic is it for Africa? And let me take the Zambia case so that you can have it in context. We are doing the objective because we are put together with Sweden and Estonia. We worked on the global digital compact. The objective of digital inclusion, connectivity, innovation and enterprise, literacy, and skills including the issues of trust and confidence. Now, where we are sitting at Zambia, we are talking about connectivity. At the moment, affected by climate change. And when I hear numbers of power that are being used, I get frightened. Our power supply on a daily basis is no more than six hours. And then, how are you going to deliver connectivity, which is so crucial, and inclusion? That is a big challenge. And because of power difficulties, it's affecting what we call access, availability, and affordability to the ordinary citizens. And therefore, you ask yourself, I want to deliver digital transformation to my people. You must have the first things first. The issue of power. Because it's affecting my access, availability, and affordability. It's also affecting the inclusion that I need, which is agreed in the Global Digital Compact, including issues around innovation and entrepreneurship, plus skills. And these are the real challenges that we must collectively be able to address. And the reason we come here is to ground ourselves on the three pillars of the Global Digital Compact. How can we use partnerships collaborations, and a shared vision to tackle the digital transformation that we need. We have been working on partnership with the private sector and other parties. We can lay fiber. We can take the connectivity, but challenged. You see a tower, you can't say hello because there's no power. And that is a challenge. So, so as we proceed, I think together, let's put on the table solutions that are sustainable, that are dealing with the transformation of the real human being on the ground, affecting their lives. And sometimes it's those numbers that I was hearing from here that are affecting the rest of us, particularly in Africa. And it's not only Zambia, it's the majority of the African countries, particularly the southern part of Africa. Similar challenges that we face. So as we deliver the Global Digital Compact, let it include critical partnership to solve real human problems. Critical collaboration to deal with a shared vision. Before we even come to dealing with the effects of AI. And most people ask me, AI, I said, it is, it is fine. The only thing that AI does 
is that those jobs that don't change your lives, those jobs that are hard, it gives you space for the jobs you don't enjoy. The jobs that don't enrich your life. AI takes them over so that you can have the space to do what is transformative. And that is the power of AI. So we should not fear AI. What we should fear is repetitive jobs that are not creating the transformation that we need. Leave it to AI. That's what it's about. So we're clear that we shall embrace AI, and we are, but first things first, power. Thank you.